My name's Katie Nip, and I've been an indie artist for 20 years, and we just completed the album Take It With You, and it's by far the best thing I've ever done. There's just a different feeling, different feelings all throughout the record, you know, different sounds, completely different vibes throughout, so there's something for everyone on this. There's a song about the love between a military couple where one of them has post-traumatic stress disorder and they're just kind of trying to figure out how their marriage can be saved when everything around them just seems to be literally blowing up. <laughs> And then there's a song that celebrates New Orleans, and that's that has the horn section on there, and uh, there's just a straight ahead blues boogie tune, and there's one I wrote for my husband too, you guys. I am a wife, not just a mother. I wanna do right by my family. I honestly didn't think I'd be able to do it again, to play music the way I want to. I just had two babies in a row, and it was pretty hard in the beginning. In fact, during my second pregnancy, I got carpal tunnel from the swelling of pregnancy, and I wasn't sure it was going to go away, and I was pretty scared because I play piano and guitar, and I teach piano lessons. So it really tested my love for music. Everything changed then because my attitude was different. Just one can for us this week. I was a million times more grateful to play music at all, and I think it came through, and it started to come through in songs that just poured out of me. I was able to do a mini tour opening for Robert Cray, and I opened for my idol, John Cleary, and I also opened for um, the James Hunter Six, and I have a goal, and it might sound like a large goal, but I think anything is possible, especially when you have a good product, and this is. The goal is for me to be the first woman in my position to actually get on the Billboard charts, but still be there for my family. So even though I can't tour, 200 or 300 days a year. I still will perform when I can because I love performing, but I also want to raise my sons. I believe it's possible because that's how good this record is. It goes from Psycho to Mardi Gras and all the feels in between. All the songs were written from such a place of gratitude and honesty. I just feel so lucky to be doing this.